Hey there, welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brain's player too. That's right, I'm inside your head, making your brain do things. If that makes you a bit uncomfortable, then you should be super creeped out by Nintendo's latest game, Super Mario Odyssey. Yes, Mario and the gang are back for the umpteenth time, but how do you keep this dinosaur of a franchise fresh and exciting when you've already explored the galaxy twice? Nintendo's answer is a bizarre character that opens up a world of possibilities for everybody's favorite Italian plumber. Sorry, Luigi. That new character is a hat-shaped ghost that possesses Mario's iconic red headwear, and his name is Cappy. How did Nintendo come up with this new character? Off the top of their heads. Cappy is a useful ally, allowing Mario to take out enemies at range with a cap throw, or reach new places with a cap jump. But Cappy's most intriguing and dangerous power gives Mario control over other creatures with an ability called Capture. Get it? Capture? While a haunted hat that makes people do things against their will sounds like the stuff of myth, there are real organisms that play mind games with their hosts. But there is one in particular I wanted to talk about for two reasons. One, it has a lot in common with Cappy. And two, there's a very good chance you are infected with it right now. The organism is Toxoplasma gondii, but his friends call him Toxo or T. gondii. Toxo are single-celled parasitic protozoa with an insidious twist. To explain why it does what it does, we have to go inside a cat's butt. T. gondii can reproduce asexually, meaning they make a copy of themselves to double their numbers rapidly. But they can also reproduce sexually, which is what happens when a male parasite and a female parasite love each other very much. Sexual reproduction makes Toxo more hardy by giving them the genetic variety that you don't get with asexual reproduction. But Toxo can only reproduce sexually inside a cat's intestinal tract. It's a weird place to get down, but hey, if they're consenting adult protozoa, who am I to judge? If they can only sexually reproduce inside a cat's guts, then obviously they need a way to get there. Toxo solved this problem in the most circuitous, disgusting, and creepy way possible. After Toxo gets down inside Mr. Whiskers, their offspring hitch a ride to the outside world on his poop. After one to five days, they emerge like spores and contaminate soil, water, and plants. When a rodent comes along and ingests the soil, water, or plants, T. gondii set up shop and start multiplying and forming cysts in muscles and nerve cells. Here's where the mind control comes into play. Toxo wants to get eaten by a cat. Rodents do not want to get eaten by a cat. It's a dilemma. So Toxo solves this by making rodents less afraid of cats, or more specifically, cat urine. Normally, when rodents smell cat urine, they turn around and head for the gutters. Cat urine means a cat has been there, and in all likelihood will return. So the smell of cat pee sets off alarm bells in a rat's brain. But researchers found that rats infected with Toxo don't seem to mind the smell so much. In fact, they might even get turned on by it. The parasite overwhelms the rat's fear response and instead triggers a sexual attraction to the scent. So they spend more time around cat pee, making it easier for cats to catch and eat them. Then it's just a quick trip through the cat's stomach and the parasites can get back to getting freaky in your kitty. Toxo exploits your cat's love for rat snacks, but felines and rodents aren't their only hosts. Much like Cappy, they can infect just about anything that moves. Well, anything warm-blooded that moves. T. gondii are found in wild game, farm animals, and yes, even humans. Quite a lot of humans, actually. Some studies estimate as much as 80% of the global population is infected. That estimate is on the high side, but even on the low end, the Centers for Disease Control estimate about 1 in 5 people in the United States host the parasite. So, take the number of views that this video gets, divide it by 5, and that's at least how many of you have kinky brainwashers inside you. Whether Toxoplasma gondii actually affects how human brains work is hotly debated, but there is evidence that it could be altering our behavior. Toxo has been shown to make chimpanzees more curious about leopard urine. Chimpanzees are a close relative of ours, so the argument goes that if Toxo can affect them, it can affect us as well. Fortunately, most humans don't come across leopards that often, so a Toxo infection isn't likely to get you eaten, but it might turn you into a crazy cat person. You know, those people who start out with one or two cats and before long their whole house is overrun with felines? They may be kitty crazy because a parasite is bidding them to love cats, which seems like the only explanation for why anyone would like cats. Researchers have found much higher concentrations of T. gondii cysts in the brains of cat hoarders, but whether it's the cause or just a symptom of cat madness is still unknown. It may seem pointless for Toxo to infect humans, since domestic cats aren't man-killers, but I can't help but think the parasites get their way in the end, when the human host dies alone in their house and their 37 cats eat them. While you'd probably never know you were infected with Toxoplasma gondii, it can cause mild flu-like symptoms, and it's more dangerous if you're an unborn fetus or if you have a compromised immune system. Otherwise, its effects could be very subtle. 
it could be altering your behavior and you'd never know it. Some studies have linked toxoplasmosis with schizophrenia, aggression, bipolar disorder, and OCD. Researchers have proposed it slows our reaction time and makes us more likely to take risks. Now, what video game character do we know of that spends time in risky areas that are so strange they seem like hallucinations? A character who is needlessly aggressive and obsessively collects coins. A character whose reactions seem just a little too slow sometimes, even though you swear you press the jump button. A character who willingly hosts a hat that can control the minds of just about anything. That's right, Mario. After playing through Super Mario Odyssey, ask yourself, were you playing the game because you wanted to, or because a parasitic hat made you do its bidding? Hey, thanks for watching. I can't control your mind, but if I could, I promise the only thing I'd make you do is click subscribe and watch more Play Noggin. Trust me. If you're worried about mind-controlling parasites, good news, there are more. Check out our video on The Last of Us to find out if there's a fungus among us. And as always, don't forget to keep on playing. The hat commands you.